Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. It's Thursday afternoon, and here are today's notices. First up, um, a note on what's going to be taking place tomorrow for Year 9, because it's going to be a slightly disrupted day. First thing, if you're in Year 9, then at 9 o'clock, you're going to go over to Milton Fawcett, where you are going to have a presentation from 9 o'clock till 10.30 from a visiting company. Um, that's 9 o'clock till 10.30, so all of Year 9, head over there. Then... Um, you will have your English trial either in uh, after break if you are doing games in the afternoon or in the afternoon if you're doing games after break. So you have games as normal and then your English trial will take place um, as uh, detailed in the email that I sent you this morning. So please have a look at that email. Please also note that the English trials are going to take place in Miss Blackwell's form room or in Mr. Bicknell's form room because there'll be other lessons going on in the other classrooms. Uh, next up today, more Year 9 revision materials on video. This time it's a revision guide on the current political situation in Jerusalem by some members of 9F1. Here it is. Three religions, one holy land. Who is the father? Find out on the Charlie Kyle show. Christianity, why do you think Jerusalem is yours? Because it is. Um, the Jews, well, they killed the son of God, their king. I mean, if you do that, it's not very good. Yeah, And sure. the Muslims, they have no actual claim, so they've got a dream, and that's it. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> it's just, uh, it's just pretty bad. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you yeah. for that. So Islam, why do you think Jerusalem's yours then? Well, basically, we had a dream, and uh, then we built a temple, no, the dream told us to go to this place, and then we built a temple there, so it's ours. Thanks for that. And Judaism, what makes you think you should own Jerusalem? Well, in 1500 BC, we um, were told, well, Moses was told to lead the Israelites, basically us, to go, to, well, from God, to go to, uh, to go through the Red Sea and go to um, Israel, which would be our home. And, uh, yeah, so basically Jerusalem is our only home. And these greedy guys like uh, Muhammad, like, oh, yeah, let's have two places, Mecca and... Jerusalem, and she's been greedy, and Christianity is just like, oh, sinful lies. Um, Jesus died here because of you, and this biased guy wearing glasses in the crowd, getting angry at me for saying this. Uh, okay, gents, I want a good, clean fight, no pair pulling or white gouging, alright? Here we go. Think you're going Christianity? Christianity? <laughs> Security. <laughs> okay, fair point. No. Okay, right. Right. The results are in. <laughs> okay. I was in. Yes, yes, okay. I'm sorry to say, but this show got a bit too controversial for ITV. But what they, can they do? Finally, Cassidy. from me today is just to remind you that for most of you, for your seven hours, sure, for your nine, your trials begin in earnest on Monday. You have your timetables. You have worked extremely hard this year, although seven Y aren't working that hard right now. Um, but you have worked extremely hard this year, and I would therefore like to see everybody achieve grace that they deserve. That means that you need to be prepared. You need to come with the correct equipment, you need to revise. You need to plan how you're going to use your independent study time to revise um, and make sure you've got all the specialist equipment you might need, so geometry sets, calculators for maths, all of that kind of thing. I know you're going to do well and I know you're going to do as proud. I will see you this time tomorrow. Take care. Bye. 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 Bye.